So I started working with big data and demography when I was a researcher at the Max Planck Institute for Demography Research. There I contacted uh, Ingmar Weber, who at the time was uh, a researcher at the Yahoo Research Labs in Barcelona. And we decided to collaborate on a project to use Yahoo data in order to understand uh, demographic uh, dynamics, in particular migration. So Ingmar invited me to spend some time at Yahoo. And when I went there, we worked together on this project. And that's how everything started. So there are both advantages and limitations. In terms of migration studies, first of all, migration is a rare phenomenon. And so having large data sets is very important. And also new data sets, like different types of big data sets, have information that you wouldn't be able to capture through surveys. For instance, we can have entire migration histories using data like LinkedIn or other types of information. And this type of information wouldn't exist otherwise. So it's both a matter of quality and quantity. In terms of limitations, most of these data sets are not representative of the underlying population. And so we need to develop all sorts of new techniques in order to uh, evaluate biases and possible distortions and in order to remove these uh, biases. Yes, yeah, so I think like demographers have always been pie-shaped scientists, scientists with one foot in demography and one foot in another discipline. And I think that uh, in the 21st century, it's going to be a century where demographers will have to learn a number of tools of data science, and there will be lots of interaction between demographers and data scientists. So I think that there will continue to be pie-shaped scientists with one foot in demography and one foot in another discipline, and this other discipline is going to be increasingly data science, various types of tools related to data management, data visualization, programming, software engineering, and, and so on. And I, my hope is that there will be more interactions between the community of uh, uh, social scientists and computer scientists so that demographic methods can contribute to the emerging field of digital demography and social informatics, and at the same time, computer scientists might uh, benefit from uh, uh, the contributions of demographers. So I think that the main, uh, so the road ahead is mainly about combining different data sources. Now we have all sorts of data sources and each uh, source has its own limitation and its own advantages. There are all different problems with traditional data sources and new data sources. And I think that developing solid statistical methods in order to combine these data sources is key for the, for the future. So I see more and more research in, uh, in that area of combining different data sources. <music>